Why do some products, services, and videos go viral while others die on the vine? It's a tough question. Luckily, Jonah Berger, author of the new bestseller, Contagious, is here to try and answer it for us. Welcome, Jonah. Thanks for having me. It's good to have you here. So why do some brands make it big and others don't? And how do you spot it? So uh, companies often have an intuition that it's all about advertising, right? We need to spend more advertising dollars to get the, get the word out. And, and advertising is effective, but word of mouth is actually much more effective, right? Getting people to talk about and share your product, your idea. Um, how do you get people to pass it on? And so the book is all about the tools to help companies do that, right? To get people to talk about and share brands and to use that word of mouth. Word of mouth is much more effective than advertising. It's 10 times more effective and it's much cheaper. Uh, but to get it to work, you need to make people talk and share. And one of those tools you talk about in the book is social currency. And you speak about it in relation to shopping sites like Gilt and Rue La La. Now those sites are exclusive. They're harder to get to than your average Amazon site, which sells everything. So how do they do so well when it's hard to get into? You know, I, I think these velvet rope sort of strategies, making people feel like insiders to make something uh, more desirable, is a great idea. We've seen Google do it with Gmail at the beginning. When Gmail first came out, you had to have access to somebody who worked at Google to get it. You even see brands like In-N-Out, right? A California hamburger chain has a secret menu, which makes people feel special, so they order the product. So I think Gilt and others have harnessed this really nicely, building demand through being exclusive, through being scarce, hard to get access to, and then releasing it to, to build the brand. Another tool you talk about in the book is is triggers and you speak about this one with regard to Cheerios and Disney. Why don't you talk about that study? So I think we would all imagine that Cheerios gets much more word of mouth than Disney World. Who would talk about uh, who would talk about Cheerios you might say? Well I think uh, actually it's more interesting than you might imagine. So you might think Cheerios is boring. Why would anyone talk about it? Uh, whereas Disney World is really exciting, much more engaging. Uh, but the problem is there's nothing in the environment to remind people about Disney World. You go, you only go once a year, talk about it when you come back, you don't keep talking about it. Whereas Cheerios might be really boring, but we eat breakfast once a day. And so it reminds us of the brand and encourages us to share it with others. All right, you also in the book talk about uh, the importance of something going viral. Now, I thought that slow and steady wins the race. Now, you might have a video on YouTube yeah. which goes viral, but that's not a, a long-lasting strategy for a lot of businesses. You know, I think what's a smarter strategy is rather than focusing on social media or the newest, hottest tool, to think about the psychology rather than the technology. Whether we're talking about online or offline, there are certain drivers that encourage people to talk and share. MySpace was great. It was around for a number of years. Now it's gone. Facebook is here now. Might be the big thing in the future. Might not be. And so rather than latching onto one technology as a solution, companies need to understand why consumers talk and share and use that to, to leverage and, and help their brands grow. All right. And finally, talking about technology, you can't talk about technology without talking about Apple. That stock has fallen. People are talking about competitors chipping away at its market yeah. share, whether or not it's even going to be here in a decade. What do you think? I mean, I think Apple's done a very good job of making projects that feel like magic, right? You get your hands on that new device, it makes you feel special to have it. To be able they can keep that magic, I think they'll keep doing well, but it's hard to do, and unless they have new products that really push the envelope forward, consumers are going to move on to something else. Well, we'll wait for those, but we'll certainly check out your book, Contagious. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching The Street.